In this video, you'll see tips for how to install a Schluter shower system. Specifically, you'll see how to install the shower tray as well as a custom curb and waterproof everything. So the first step is to lay out your prefab shower tray and measure in three quarters of an inch. This is really important. And the reason why is the first three quarters of an inch of the perimeter of the shower tray is completely flat. So I recommend cutting off the first three quarters of an inch, keeping those strips for later on. I'll show you how to use them. And then what I did after that was cut down the shower tray by an additional three inches on three sides so that I could customize the shower tray around my existing drain. And here's a hot tip. You can use a scale to measure out a half bag of Thinset. For example, I measured out 25 pounds of Schluter Allset. I have the water content per the instructions, poured the water into a bucket, turned on my dust extractor, poured the thin set into that, and mixed everything up. I mixed this up for roughly five minutes. I let it sit there for 10 minutes, and then I mixed it again for another three minutes. But while that was sitting there, I mixed up some deck mud. This is pre-mixed deck mud. It's actually from a pay it's four to one mud bed mix. I also used a different mixing paddle for that. You could mix it with a margin trowel, but it's a little bit harder. I then grabbed a one quarter inch by three inch square notch trowel. I burned the thin set into the substrate with the flat side of that. You also want to hold the trowel at a 45 degree angle when you apply the notched side into the thin set. Really important. Then I compressed the tray into the thin set as well as the three quarter inch strips. And then I walked on those to ensure that they were embedded into the thin set. Added more thin set between the tray and the walls, up against the shower tray, as well as on the walls. That's important for a Schluter shower system. I applied more thin set to the edge of my curb and made sure the curb was level. Also important to apply thin set to the edges of the curb where they meet. And I made sure that complete unit was even and level on top. Then I added my deck mud over top of the modified thin set on the floor. I compressed that into the thin set using a wood float. And then I screeded that, ensuring that I had one quarter inch of slope per linear foot. Then I used my steel trowel to go ahead and finish that off. I let that sit for a day. Then I dampened it and embedded some thin set on both the deck mud as well as the walls so that I could then add my curdy carrot corners. These are prefab corners. You want those to be solidly embedded into the thin set. And once you're done doing that, sponge those off because you don't want any excess thin set hanging out that don't interfere with your tile work. I also added a prefab outside corner over the curb and up against the wall. Now here's a tip that I have for you. I always get asked, how do you waterproof between drywall and curdy board? Well, you want to dampen the drywall, apply thin set over top of both using the curdy trowel, and embed your banding into that. This banding process with the thin set will waterproof that transition and help you ensure that you don't have any damage later on. Now what I'm showing here is that the perimeter of my shower is nice and flat and level because of those three quarter inch strips. The other thing is you only need your curdy band to overlap the curdy carrot corners by two inches. You don't need to have excessive overlap and that'll help you with the corners of a Schluter shower system and prevent you from having tile problems. Once you embed the banding, you wanna wipe off all the excess thin set, apply thin set into the groove of where the shower drain is, curdy trial that as well, and then compress the curdy into that and remove any excess thin set will, that will interfere with the drain system. Then I cut down curdy. I added more thin set over top of the deck mud and my wall. I embedded that strip of curdy into the thin set, made sure that that was nice and flat up against all my substrates because that could interfere with my tile work. I sponged that off. I also double checked that everything remained flat along the perimeter. I did the exact same process for the curb. I applied thin set to the tray the sides of the curb using the curdy trowel, and then I embedded that curdy membrane into my custom shower curb. This is awesome because it really ensures that everything will be 100% waterproof. The biggest tip I have for you is to just make sure you get all the excess thin set out from between the curdy and the custom curb and your Ditra. I then sponged everything off, let that sit for 24 hours, used a two inch OD drain plug in the drain, and then I flood tested it by hooking up my hose to my shower arm. Really important to flood test. But if you like the tips in this video, give it a thumbs up. And hopefully you subscribe to the YouTube channel because we're going to have a ton more tutorials that will help you out with your shower installation. So thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video.